Beard lovers, I had a wonderful VidCon this year. It was nice to meet you and greet you and bleach you. Yo, it's bleeding, that's what bleeding is. But now, I'm still here in LA. WT f currently staying with one of my Hollywood friends. I wanna say that it's Robert Downey Jr., but I'm not gonna say that it's Robert Downey Jr. Cause it's not. Why you no return to your residence, Weezy Waiter? Well, I was offered a UniQ opportunity. Ooh, an out of the ordinary experience? Yes, something that is perhaps out of my league. Ooh, compelling circumstance, Weezy Waiter. Yes, okay, you wanna know what it is? Yes. Well, bum bum bum, I probably assume it's already in the title of this video, so you already know what it is. But for those of you who can't read, I have been invited to a town hall meeting with Hillary Duff. Sorry, Clinton. What? Oh, um, God. Hmm. And now I'm cold and wet. I don't want to go now. Too cold and wet. Hang on a second. Does water dry? Oh, it does. All right. I guess all I have to do now is wait. <sighs> I'm a waiter again. Here's the thing. I may get to ask Hillary Swank Clinton a question. I asked you all on Twitter and on Wheezy News, my second channel. That's right. I have a second channel. Sup? You gave me lots and lots of questions, but unfortunately I can only ask one. It's a one to lots ratio. <laughs> Math. Here's the thing. Your questions came from all sorts of points of view. Burntivratives, conservatrumpers, libertarocrats, republicanists. Lots of same old questions about Hillary's past and her record. Or how she's going to be able to win over Bernie supporters. And there were even a few, gasp, policy questions. Wow. I've been baracking my brain trying to figure out the best question to ask if I should be called on. I want to ask about cloning technology, but I think the government might see that as being a little unethical. I want to ask about Hillary's stance on eagle punching. Here's my stance. Kind of bend the knees a little bit, bring the fists up, and then boom! But I know she'll probably just give the same tired response. It's the mascot of our country. We shouldn't punch it. It soars beautifully above the amber waves of grain. I'll make it soar. Stepping back for a moment and looking at most of these questions, it seems that most of you are concerned with Hillary's character. Many see her as a career politician who's been a Washington insider for decades, which many think blind her from the reality of everyday schlubs like you or me. And dude, I am like so every day. You can't believe it. I have dayed every time there has been a day. Anyway, this concern perfectly aligns with what I was talking about in my previous video last week. I mentioned that book that I was reading that all truly successful movements have leaders that have one thing in common, a clear and consistent reason why. I even talked about my own reason why. I want to help the living enjoy life and I want to inspire the living to help the living enjoy life and I want to enjoy life. What does Hillary want? I believe she probably has a legitimate reason why. She's constantly bombarded with criticism from all sides. She's been flying all over the country and the world for years, organizing two presidential campaigns, and being president to me seems like a very hard, thankless job. It'd be much easier to sit at home and watch Game of Thrones, although not every episode. But hold the door. I think she has to have her reasons why to put herself through all that. And if they're good reasons, I think she should be given the opportunity to explain them. So that's what I will ask if I get the chance. Why? And maybe she's tried to answer this question in some form in other places, but I'm gonna give her another shot. All right, it's time for me to go buy some nice clothes to do this thing because I only have schlubby clothes right now. Let's go. Oh yeah, actually I'm gonna go for a little swim first. Or should I say swan? That's a forced pun, but you'll get it in a second. Okay, just went and bought a bunch of clothes. Kind of running out of time. I got to change in the car and then drive, and I don't really have a good internet connection, so I don't really know where I'm going. This is going to be a challenge. It appears that I made it. Beauty con. It's a beauty vlogger conference. So naturally, I'm invited. Henry Reich. Oh, minute physics. Look at all those cameras. Oh, wow. What do, those, why am I holding this camera? It seems useless. This looks like a fancier thing than I, I should be at. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey, it's uh, Jake, Jake? Yeah, hell yes it is. Jake Fields? So yeah, it's me, Jake Fields. About to do this uh, town hall that uh, I'm going in totally blind. I feel like we don't belong here. No, like, yeah. no, 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 definitely uh, not. Yeah. What but are we we're here all the same. Yeah! Presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, Hillary Rodham Clinton. <laughs> thrilled to be here with so many creators and I hope we can have a, a real conversation. It feels it feels pretty normal though. It, does. it feels fine. It's like she's another human being. Yeah. Although I'm pointing a camera at her very creepily. Yeah, so you're a weird human being. I'm the weird one. Now it's the next day. I am back home in Chicago and I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first. Hi there. No Mitzi? <laughs> oh, good idea. Mitzi, 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 Mitzi. Mitzi freak out! Oh, hey Mitzi! Hey! Hey! 
Come here. Come here. Oh, oh bite my face. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and now it has been several days. As you can see, there are boxes and crap all over. Not literal crap. We still have a working toilet, thank goodness. We're in the middle of the process of moving. We're moving at the end of the month. Wah! But that's neither here nor there. Actually, it's both here and there. Anyway, so you're probably wondering what my experience was like at the Hillary Town Hall. First of all, it was not a hall. It was an auditorium. And it wasn't a town. It was a city. Los Angeles. Typical politicians lying about the blue bitty blue blue bitty. So my experience at the Hillary City Auditorium. So I didn't get to ask my question. I know, I know. <laughs> that guy finds it funny. What, a book? But she did field many questions from all over the room, from climate change to student loans to something, something. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying more attention to the Secret Service guys because every time I tried to grab my camera, <laughs> one of them would look at me and then I'd freak out. <laughs> and I'd have to make sure I moved slowly. <laughs> just a camera. Just a camera. Never mind, just a camera. Don't kill him. And not surprisingly, she did a fantastic job answering every question. It's as if she's been doing this for many, many years. No, I didn't get to ask my question, but I did get to take a selfie. And as Winston Churchill once said, a selfie is worth a thousand questions. Raffle. Hillary never did get to answer anything like my question, though. The why question. And that's a shame, because that's something I would really like to know. I would like to get a good, clear answer to why she wants to be president. I also want to know why Trump wants to be president. I just don't get it. If you have millions and millions of dollars, wouldn't you want to just own an island and live on an island. Now, since this video involves politics, I look forward to your tasteful, thoughtful, kind-hearted, well-meaning, productive comments about policy in which you go deep into the inner workings of our government and perhaps propose legislation of your own, providing proactive, optimistic ideas about improving our country, as is the way of all comments on political videos. If for some rare reason someone forgets to behave in such a manner, here's what you do. You respond to that comment with, I hope we can all agree to come together and work on building a better future. Be well, friend. Smiley face. Jazz hands. Down there, you'll see ways to find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat. Here's a hint. I'm Wheezy Waiter on all of them except Tumblr. On Tumblr, I'm Wheezy Tumblr. You can click up there to subscribe and over there to super subscribe to my Patreon. And over there is my previous video in which I talk about my why I do everything, like I mentioned in this video. And up there is a Wheezy Wayback Machine to go to a random old Wheezy video because I've been around for, I think, since um, the Reagan administration. Wink.